Um, now, for the reason we're all here, it is time to re recognize our distinguished honorees and the important contributions they have made to technology journalism. So I'm going to ask each of them to take their place on stage as they are introduced. First, Nick Bilton, tech columnist for the New York Times and lead writer for the Bits blog. Now you can come on stage, Nick. <laughs> Nick. Nick has covered all the giants, of course. Uh, the piece I remember this year well was the Apple TV piece after Steve Jobs said in Walter Isaacson's biography that he'd believed he cracked the code. Nick looks more closely at the future of tech two to 10 years out and is the author of I Live in the Future and Here's How It Works, which just came out in paperback. Um, John Patchakowski, who is sadly not here tonight because he has the flu and in a way, I, I, at least he doesn't know if I'm mispronouncing his name, but he is the uh, deputy managing editor for all things digital, best known for poking fun at the tech industry and personality, so, so someone else is gonna have to be funny tonight. Um, obviously has written about all of the greats, uh, previously wrote for the award-winning tech blog, Good Morning Silicon Valley, and for the San Jose Mercury News. James Temple, tech columnist for the San Francisco Chronicle. Writes the dot commentary column, has covered a range of topics including this year, all those tweets, apps, updates may drain your brain, proposing the idea of a technology diet. Um, previously worked for Bloomberg, yay, uh, the San Francisco Business Times, and Wired Magazine. Um, Harry McCracken. <laughs> Founder of Technologizer, also a columnist for Time, CNET, and AllBusiness.com. Former editor-in-chief of PC World, has made many, many appearances on television, including ABC, CBS, CNN, Dateline, and the History Channel. Has been referred to as a top techie, gadget guru, and tech influencer. Okay. Uh, John Gallant, Chief Content Officer and Senior Vice President of IDG Enterprise, leads IDG's CEO interview series, including recent interviews with Oracle's Mark Hurd, Symantec's Enrique Salem, and works for all with all of the IDG leaders, including, including Computer World, Info World, and IT World. Audrey Waters, blogger and social media expert, who's written extensively about Google's step into the social arena with Google+, Plus, which many people seem to think is not going to work out. Um, has her own blog and specializes in education technology. She's also written for the NPR Education Tech blog, O'Reilly Radar, and the Huffington Post. Greg Kumparik, mobile editor of TechCrunch and very out there with his predictions tonight. Um, on. Self-described geek to the core, just puts it out there. Um, covers all things mobile, is really the gadget guy at TechCrunch and also ran Mobile Crunch for three years. And last but not least, John Fort, the tech correspondent for CNBC. <coughs> he also writes the Tech Tech blog and uh, previously worked at Fortune Magazine. This year he interviewed Mark Zuckerberg at the F8 conference and he's also my competition and he keeps, keeps us on our toes. Thanks, so, Emily. ladies and gentlemen, our speakers and honorees, please give them a round of applause. It's the one time this year when you'll find me following Emily and smiling about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this will be fun. This will be fun. Well, Emily, great job. Thank you. How does it feel? To, high praise coming you. from you. How does it feel? I said high praise coming from you. How does it feel? Um, <laughs> it feels pretty good. Because the group, on, the group